Well, food and fuel are driving inflation in the Twin Cities and across the country to a new 40-year high now. On average, we are paying 8.2% more than we did a year ago. Political reporter Theo Keith joins us. And Theo, inflation is more than just gas prices, right? Yeah, they're just the most visible. And gas prices are up 41.5% year over year in the metro. Then, of course, there's food, which includes groceries and restaurant meals, up close to 8%. And now we're seeing housing and services inflation pushing higher as well. Rents in the metro up 4.4%. In the Twin Cities, people are paying more across the board for gas, groceries, utilities, clothing. Thinking those problems are going to go away or diminish soon, I think is extremely wishful thinking. Joe Redden is a marketing professor at the University of Minnesota. Input costs like fuel, raw materials, and labor are up, and he says many companies are passing that along to customers. You know, certainly every company right now is looking, how can I sell a price increase? I think almost every company is feeling that pain. And so you've got to look for what are ways I can kind of do this. At the grocery store, where prices are up 7.3% year over year in the metro, he suggests considering store brands, checking unit prices, and shopping in person instead of online because it's easier to compare prices when they're all in front of you. President Biden blaming Russia's invasion of Ukraine for the high gas and food prices. The president speaking in Iowa Tuesday. 70% of the increase in prices in March came from Putin's price hike in gasoline. But food and gas prices were going up for months ahead of the invasion, a product of strong demand and supply constraints. They vexed policymakers who have little control over prices. The Biden administration announcing Tuesday it will allow summertime sales of E15 gas, which is slightly cheaper than a gallon of regular. It's not going to solve all our problems, but it's going to help some people. And I'm committed to whatever I can to help. In the Twin Cities, gas prices have peaked for now, falling slightly over the past month to an average of $3.85. The more worrisome thing in today's inflation numbers to economists is that housing and services inflation is picking up now. Rents, for example, lag because people are locked into leases and only feel the pain when their lease comes up. That means higher inflation is likely here to stay. BC, Kelsey. All right. Thank you, Theo.